Welcome to the 2023 Michigan DMV written practice test. We've got 60 questions and explained answers that cover everything you need to know for the assessment. But before we hit the road, be sure to fill up our tank with a like or a sub so that we're always firing on all cylinders and pumping out new content. Now let's buckle up and get going with the first question. Question one. Are you allowed to turn left at a red signal? A. Yes, but only when turning from a one-way street onto another one-way street. B. Yes, this is a protected turn in which you will have the right of way. C. No, not in Michigan. D. Yes, but only when turning onto a one-way street. The answer is D. Unless a no turn on red sign is posted, you can turn left on red into a one-way street from another one-way street or a two-way street onto a one-way street. Remember to stop and yield to pedestrians, cross traffic, and oncoming vehicles. Red arrow turns are not allowed. Question 2. If a new Michigan driver has an alcohol-related or another violation or at-fault accident and accumulates nine or more points within two years of being released from probation, he or she will have to A. Pay a fine B. Forfeit his or her license C. Undergo a re-examination D. All of the above The answer is C. In Michigan, new drivers who accumulate nine or more points due to violations or accidents within two years of probation release will undergo a re-examination. A driver analyst will review their record and discuss it, potentially leading to license restrictions, suspension, or revocation. Question 3. A Category 2 offense, such as drunk driving or reckless driving, incurs its own driver responsibility fee. The minimum driver responsibility fee for a Category 2 offense is A. $150 B. $250 C. $100 D. $200 The answer is A. A Category 2 offense, such as drunk driving or reckless driving, incurs its own driver responsibility fee. The minimum driver responsibility fee for a Category 2 offense is $150. Question 4. What does this sign indicate? A. T intersection ahead. B. Dead end ahead. C. Road narrows ahead. D. Divided highway ahead. The answer is A. This sign indicates that there is a T-shaped intersection ahead, where a road intersects with another road at a right angle. Drivers should be prepared to slow down, yield, or stop if necessary, and be aware of any other signs or signals in the area that regulate traffic flow. Question 5. If you are convicted of driving with an open container of alcoholic beverage in your vehicle, how many points will be added to your driving record? A. 3 points. B. 2 points. C. 1 point. D. 4 points. The answer is B. If you are convicted of driving with an open container of alcoholic beverage in your vehicle, two points will be added to your driving record. Question 6. If a new Michigan driver on probation is convicted of multiple moving violations, A. He or she will be contacted by the Department of State. B. His or her license will be canceled. C. He or she will be fined. D. All of the above will happen. The answer is A. If a new Michigan driver on probation is convicted of multiple moving violations, an official from the Department of State may contact the driver to discuss his or her poor driving habits. Question 7. If a driver under the age of 21 refuses to submit to a preliminary breath test, how many points will be added to his or her driving record? A. 1 point. 
B. Two points. C. Four points. D. Three points. The answer is B. Refusing to submit to a preliminary breath test will result in the addition of two points to a minor's driving record. Question 8. This warning sign means A. Sharp right turn and left turns are ahead. B. The road ahead curves to the right and then to the left. C. A winding road. D. The road ahead curves to the right. The answer is B. This sign indicates a double curve ahead. The road ahead curves to the right and then to the left. Slow down, keep right, and do not pass. Question 9. What term is used to describe areas around trucks or other large vehicles in which other vehicles may disappear into blind spots? A. Slow zones. B. Side zones. C. Blind zones. D. No zones. The answer is D. Don't hang out in a no zone. No zones are large areas around trucks and other large vehicles in which cars may disappear into blind spots or get so close that they restrict the truck driver's ability to stop or maneuver safely. No zones greatly increase the likelihood of a crash. Question 10. A Michigan driver who accumulates seven points on his or her driving record will be required to pay a driver responsibility fee of A. $100 B. $150 C. $200 D. $50 The answer is A. A Michigan driver who accumulates seven points on his or her driving record will be required to pay a driver responsibility fee of $100. Question 11. When passing a bicycle, what is the minimum amount of space you should leave between your vehicle and the bicycle? A. 3 feet. B. 10 feet. C. 6 feet. D. 7 feet. The answer is A. Be alert for bicycles along the roadway because they are often difficult to see. Use extra caution. When passing a bicycle, you should allow at least three feet of space between your vehicle and the bicycle. Question 12. What does this sign indicate? A. Slippery when wet. B. Bicycles crossing. C. Pedestrians crossing. D. Traffic merging from the right. The answer is D. This sign indicates that there is traffic merging from the right into the main flow of traffic. Drivers should be prepared to adjust their speed and position to allow merging vehicles from the right to enter the roadway safely. Be aware of any other signs or signals in that area that regulate traffic flow. Question 13. What must you do when you pass an emergency vehicle parked on the side of the road with its flashing lights on? A. Stop behind it and wait for the lights to stop flashing. B. Increase your speed and pass the vehicle as quickly as possible. C. Slow down. Also, move over a lane if it is safe to do so. D. Proceed as usual. The answer is C. You must slow down to pass a stopped emergency vehicle. You must also move over a lane if traffic conditions allow. Question 14. What should you do if you miss your exit ramp on a freeway? A. Proceed to the next exit. B. Turn around on the shoulder. C. Use a median for crossover. D. Slow down and change lanes. The answer is A. If you miss your exit ramp, never back up, turn around, or use a median crossover.
In Michigan, it is illegal to back up on a highway or use a median crossover. Instead, proceed to the next exit and try to double back from there. Question 15. Yield lines are typically found at roundabout intersections and mid-block crosswalks to A. Allow high-speed vehicles B. Help damaged vehicles C. Help regulate the flow of traffic D. Allow heavy vehicles The answer is C. Just as with yield signs, when you encounter yield lines, prepare to yield to pedestrians and other vehicles, stopping if necessary. Yield lines are typically found at roundabouts and mid-block crosswalks to help regulate the flow of traffic. When you yield, stop behind the yield line. Question 16. What does this sign indicate? A. Minimum speed limit. B. Maximum speed limit. C. Average speed limit. D. Recommended speed limit. The answer is B. This sign indicates the maximum legal speed limit for the roadway which drivers should not exceed. The maximum speed limit may vary depending on the type of road, weather conditions, and other factors. Question 17. On a freeway with two lanes in each direction, drive in the right lane except A. When following another vehicle to merge onto the freeway. B. When exiting to the left. C. When passing. D. In all of the above situations. The answer is D. On a freeway with two lanes in each direction, drive in the right lane except when passing, exiting to the left, or allowing another vehicle to merge onto the freeway. If driving at or near the minimum speed limit, stay in the lane with the slower traffic. Question 18. When driving in bad weather, such as fog, what practice should you follow? A. Maintain a smaller following distance. B. Maintain greater following distance. C. Maintain a higher speed. D. Turn on your high beam headlights. The answer is B. In hazardous weather conditions, you should drive more slowly and allow a greater following distance between your vehicle and others. Question 19. If you are being passed by another vehicle, you should A. Not increase your speed. B. Not reduce your speed. C. Keep to the left. D. Race the driver that is passing you. The answer is A. If you are being passed by another vehicle, do not increase your speed or race the driver that is passing you. Allow the other driver to complete the passing maneuver safely. Question 20. This sign indicates that A. Two-way traffic starts at the sign. B. You must merge right or left. C. A two-lane highway starts at the sign. D. You must go to either side. The answer is D. This sign marks a traffic island or obstruction. You must go to either side of it. Question 21. If a traffic officer signals you to drive through a red light, A. Signs and signals take precedent over directions given by traffic officers. B. You must do it. C. You must wait for the red light to turn green. D. You must call the police. The answer is B. Traffic officers are authorized to direct traffic, and their signals override the standard traffic signals in such situations. This is to ensure the safe, efficient flow of traffic when manual intervention is necessary. Question 22. Emergency vehicles A. Have the right of way when using sirens, horns, and or flashing lights. 
B. May use a loudspeaker to give instructions. C. May follow each other. D. All of the above. The answer is D. You must yield the right of way to police cars, fire engines, ambulances, or any other emergency vehicle using a siren or air horn and a red or blue flashing light. Follow any instructions given over the emergency vehicle's loudspeakers. Emergency vehicles often follow each other, so you should proceed only when you are certain the way is clear. Question 23. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit on state highways is A. 25 miles per hour B. 35 miles per hour C. 45 miles per hour D. 55 miles per hour The answer is D. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit on state highways is 55 miles per hour. If a different speed limit is posted, you should follow that speed limit. Question 24. What does this sign indicate? A. Bump ahead. B. Low clearance. C. Narrow bridge. D. No U-turns. The answer is C. This sign indicates that a narrow bridge is ahead which means that drivers should slow down and proceed with caution, especially if there is oncoming traffic or pedestrians on the bridge. Drivers of wide vehicles should also be aware of this sign and plan their route accordingly. Question 25. On long trips, you can avoid highway hypnosis by A. Frequently changing lanes B. Shifting your eyes from one area of the road to another C. Drinking coffee or taking stimulants. D. Talking on your cell phone. The answer is B. On long trips, you can avoid sleepiness by constantly shifting your eyes from one area of the road to another. Keep checking your mirrors and looking at objects near and far, left and right. Question 26. When navigating a roundabout, what is the correct driving pattern? A. To the left of the center island. B. In a counterclockwise direction. C. On white lines in the center island. D. In a clockwise direction. The answer is B. A roundabout is a circular intersection with traffic circulating counterclockwise around a central island. Approaching vehicles must yield to the traffic already in the circle. Always enter to the right of the central island. Question 27. Which of the following is not a parking violation? A. Parking in a highway lane outside the city. B. Parking within 12 inches of the curb. C. Parking within 500 feet of a fire or a crash. D. Parking within 20 feet of a marked crosswalk. The answer is B. You are actually supposed to be parked within 12 inches of the curb. If your parked car is stuck way out in a travel lane, it may interfere with traffic. Question 28. When you see white triangles painted across a traffic lane, you must prepare to A. Stop and yield to traffic. B. Increase your vehicle speed. C. Get out of your vehicle. D. Do all of the above. The answer is A. White triangles painted across a traffic lane are one type of yield line. Be prepared to stop and yield to traffic. Question 29. Which headlights should you use when driving behind another vehicle? A. Low beams. B. High beams if you are close to the other vehicle and low beams if you are far away from it. C. High beams. D. 
None of the above. The answer is A. You should not use high beams when driving behind other vehicles. The reflection of bright lights in a rearview mirror can distract the driver. Question 30. What is the proper hand signal for a right turn? A. Left arm and hand pointing up. B. Left arm and hand straight out. C. Left arm and hand pointing down. D. None of the above. The answer is A. The proper hand signal for a right turn is left arm and hand pointing up. Question 31. When preparing to make a turn, how far in advance should you signal your intention? A. 70 feet. B. 200 feet. C. 100 feet. D. 60 feet. The answer is C. When turning, you must signal at least 100 feet of where you plan to turn. Signal early so drivers behind you have time to adjust their speed. At 40 miles per hour, a vehicle will travel 100 feet in less than 2 seconds. Question 32. What does this sign mean? A. A place reserved for persons with disabilities. B. A hospital ahead. C. A crosswalk for pedestrians. D. Wheelchair availability. The answer is A. This symbol marks spaces for vehicles operated by or used to transport persons with disabilities. Question 33. You want to make a right turn at the corner. A pedestrian with a guide dog is at the corner ready to cross the street in front of you. Before making your right turn, you should A. Turn off your engine until the person crosses the street. B. Tell the pedestrian when to cross the street. C. Wait until the person crosses the street. D. Honk the horn to warn the pedestrian of your presence. The answer is C. When you encounter a pedestrian with a guide dog, it is an indicator that the person has a visual impairment and may be blind. In this situation, it is crucial to prioritize the safety and right of way of the pedestrian. Question 34. You are at a red traffic signal. The traffic light turns green, but there are still other vehicles in the intersection. You should A. Wait until the vehicles clear the intersection before entering. B. Move ahead only if you can go around the other vehicles safely. C. Enter the intersection and wait for traffic to clear. D. Honk your horn to warn other drivers of your presence and then enter the intersection. The answer is A. Give the right-of-way to any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian already in the intersection. While the green signal certainly means go, vehicles that entered the intersection before the light turned green have the right-of-way over you. Question 35. Preparing to smoke and smoking while driving. A. Do not affect driving abilities. B. Help maintain driver alertness. C. Are distracting activities. D are not distracting activities. The answer is C. Eating, drinking, and smoking are big distractions when it comes to driving. These all create safety problems because they often require you take your hands off the wheel and take your eyes off the road. Drivers who eat or drink while driving have trouble controlling their vehicle, staying in their lane, and have to brake more often. Question 36. What does this sign mean? A. No left turn. B. No U-turn. C. No right turn. D. One-way street. The answer is A. 
This sign indicates that drivers are not allowed to make a left turn at this intersection. Drivers should obey this sign and continue straight or turn right instead. Question 37. You should always use your emergency flashers when A. You are double parked in a traffic lane. B. You are parked on the side of the road in heavy fog. C. Your vehicle has broken down on the roadway. D. You are driving at night and you feel tired. The answer is C. Never stop on the road unless necessary for safety or to obey a law. If you need to stop, then start braking early as a signal to the cars behind you. If your vehicle breaks down on the road, make sure that other vehicles can see it by putting on your emergency lights. Question 38. A red arrow pointing to the right on a traffic light means you may A. Turn right after you have come to a complete stop. B. Not turn right until the light turns green. C. Turn right after slowing and checking traffic. D. Turn right only if there are no pedestrians crossing the street at the moment. The answer is B. A red arrow means stop. Remain stopped until the green signal or green arrow appears. Do not turn against a red arrow. Question 39. If you are a minor and your cell phone rings while you are driving, you should A. Answer it if you have a hands-free device. B. Let the call go to voicemail. C. Answer if the call is from your parents. D. Text the caller that you are driving and you will return the call later. The answer is B. It is against the law for a minor to use a cell phone while driving. If your cell phone rings, do not answer the call or respond to the text message. Convictions for violations of this law are subject to fines. Exception. You may use a cell phone to contact law enforcement, a health care provider, the fire department, or another emergency entity in an emergency situation. Question 40. What does this sign mean? A. Divided highway ahead. B. Lane ends, merge left. C. Two-way traffic ahead. D. Narrow bridge ahead. The answer is B. This sign indicates that the lane ahead will end soon and drivers should merge to the left lane. Drivers should be aware of other vehicles and adjust their speed and position accordingly. Drivers should also watch for other signs and pavement markings that indicate where lanes merge or diverge. Question 41. What does alcohol do to your driving skills and judgment? A. It helps driving skills but harms your judgment. B. It harms both driving skills and judgment. C. It has no effect on either driving skills or judgment. D. It has no effect on judgment, but it harms driving skills. The answer is B. Alcohol reduces reaction time, reduces your ability to see clearly, changes your judgment of speed and distances, often makes you less inhibited and makes you more prone to take chances. The more important skills you need to drive safely are made weaker. Question 42. You are in a large truck's blind spot if you A. Drive close to the large truck's left front wheel. B. Cannot see the truck driver in the truck's side mirrors. C. Follow no closer than 10 feet behind the large truck. D. All of the above. The answer is B. While truckers do have a better forward view and bigger mirrors, they still have large blind spots, and your vehicle can get lost in those blind spots. If you stay in those blind spots, you block the trucker's ability to take evasive action to avoid a dangerous situation. Generally speaking, if you cannot see the truck driver in his or her side mirror, he or she 
cannot see you. Question 43. Before changing lanes on a multi-lane highway, you should A. Sound your horn B. Turn on your headlights C. Reduce your speed D. Check your mirrors and blind spots The answer is D. Before changing lanes, signal, look in all your mirrors, check traffic behind and beside you. Glance over your left shoulder or right shoulder to make sure the lane you want is clear. Check for vehicles, motorcyclists, and bicycle traffic in your blind spot. Be sure there is enough room for your vehicle in the next lane. Question 44. This white sign means A. Drive to the right. B. Right turn yield. C. Slower traffic should move to the right. D. You must turn right at next intersection. The answer is A. The sign marks a traffic island or highway divider, and it warns you to stay to the right of the obstacle. When this sign is installed at a highway, it may also be accompanied by the Divided Highway Begins yellow warning sign. Question 45. At night, if an oncoming vehicle fails to dim its high beams, what should you do? A. Look toward the center of the roadway. B. Look toward the right edge of your lane. C. Look toward the left edge of your lane. D. Look straight ahead in your lane. The answer is B. If another driver does not dim his or her lights, look toward the right edge of your lane to avoid being blinded. Do not try to get back at the other driver by keeping your bright lights on. If you do, both of you may be blinded, and it can lead to an accident. Question 46. An illegal passing zone is indicated by which of the following? A. A dashed yellow line. B. A double yellow line. C. A dashed white line. D. A double white line. The answer is B. Passing may occur only when there is a dashed yellow line or a solid yellow line and a dashed yellow line. A double yellow line indicates that passing is not permitted. Question 47. To operate a motorcycle in Michigan, you must have A. A motorcycle-only license B. A driver's license with a motorcycle endorsement C. No license is necessary D. A commercial driver's license The answer is B. To operate a motorcycle in Michigan, you must have a driver's license with a motorcycle endorsement. Question 48. This sign indicates A. A sharp left curve or turn. B. An intersection ahead. C. Construction zone ahead. D. Reduce speed ahead. The answer is A. A chevron alignment sign such as this one is used on the outside of a turn or curve and indicates the direction of the turn or curve. Question 49. When approaching an intersection, if the light changes from green to yellow, you should do which of the following? A. Accelerate to make it before the light changes. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop before the intersection. C. Hit the brakes hard and come to an immediate stop. D. None of the above. The answer is B. If a light changes from green to yellow as you're approaching an intersection, the safest course of action is to slow down and prepare to stop. Question 50. In Michigan, your license expires after how many years? A. One year. B. Two years. C. Three years. 
D. Four years. The answer is D. In most cases, your license will expire after four years. Question 51. When turning from one of three turn lanes, which lane should you end up in after the turn is complete? A. The right lane. B. The left lane. C. The middle lane. D. The lane you started in. The answer is D. When turning from multiple lanes, you must remain in the lane you started in. Merging into another lane could cause a collision with another motorist. Question 52. This sign indicates A. No deliveries are permitted during certain hours. B. No large trucks permitted. C. No black vehicles permitted at night. D. None of the above. The answer is B. This sign indicates that large trucks are not permitted. This may be because of a low overhang, because it's a residential neighborhood, or other reasons. Question 53. When entering traffic from being parked at a curb, you should do which of the following? A. Wait for the first vehicle to pass and then enter traffic. B. Drive slower than other traffic for the first quarter mile. C. Give yourself enough time and space to get up to the speed of other drivers. D. Accelerate and merge into traffic as soon as possible. The answer is C. To prevent an accident and to avoid blocking traffic, you should wait for traffic to pass. Then, allow yourself enough time and distance to get up to the speed of other drivers. Question 54. When you see lowered crossbars at a railroad crossing, you should A. Drive between them to beat the train. B. Wait until the train passes to cross. C. Check to see if the train is a safe distance away and cross. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Drivers at a railroad crossing where there are lowered crossbars should always wait for the train to pass. Question 55. This sign indicates A. County Road B. Interstate C. National Highway Route D. State Route The answer is D. A sign such as this one with the outline of a state and a number indicates a state route. Question 56. If your car breaks down in traffic, you should A. Go into the center of the highway and flag down assistance. B. Use your hazard lights to alert other drivers. C. Stand in front of your car until someone stops. D. Honk your horn until help arrives. The answer is B. If your car breaks down in traffic, the safest course of action is to remain in your car until you can get help and use your hazard lights to alert other drivers. Question 57. This sign indicates A. There is a circular intersection or roundabout ahead. B. U-turns are not prohibited. C. U-turns are permitted. D. Traffic should not stop. The answer is A. This indicates that you are approaching a roundabout or circular intersection. Question 58. A driver with their arm extended downward is signaling their intent to A. Turn left. B. Turn right. C. Stop. D. Turn around. The answer is C. 
A driver with their arm extended downward is indicating their intent to stop. Question 59. When parking on a downgrade with a curb, in which direction should your wheels be turned? A. Away from the curb. B. Towards the curb. C. Straight ahead. D. None of the above. The answer is B. In the interest of safety and to avoid having to make multiple steps in pulling away from the curb, the best thing to do is park with the wheels turned toward the curb. Question 60. If you approach an intersection which is blocked by other traffic, which of the following should you do? A. Follow as closely as possible behind the car in front of you. B. Wait to enter the intersection until you can pass through. C. Blow your horn several times to make the other cars move. D. Pull off the side of the road. The answer is B. In the interest of safety, you should never enter an intersection until you can safely pass through. If traffic is blocked in an intersection, wait until you can safely pass through. We hope you found our 2023 Michigan DMV practice test useful. If you did, remember to smash that like button. And if you're looking for more practice tests, check out these other videos and subscribe to our channel to see our latest tests.